This is a free lesson from my course Workflow of Modern Web Design from Sketching to Style Guides. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about organizing your Photoshop layers into groups and how you are going to name them properly so your developers or other team members or other designers, whenever they open up your PSD file, they know what this folder means or this group means or this uh, naming convention means okay so let's get started okay now you can see on the right in my layers panel let me just make it a bit bigger okay so i'm going to increase the thumbnail size right now now uh, you if you look at this in the layers panel you can see at the top these are basically the specifications generated by ink okay so i'm going to name it specs something like that okay so the designers uh, so the developers knows that these are the specs you can hide them or you can show them you can see over here in the red uh, lines over here if i try to hide them you can see they are hidden and shown okay so these are the specs then the next is going to be grid there are two grids vertical and uh, horizontal grid uh, you can see this is the columnar grid you can see over here 1200 pixels wide and this is the vertical grid uh, it is better that you name them like eight point uh, vertical grid okay something like that and also you can uh, use something like 1200 pixels uh, 10 pixels margin margin with the 30 pixel gutter okay so the developer knows that this is the grid system you have used okay now moving ahead you can see we have header at the top then we have if i try to hide it you can see this whole hero area and header area is hidden inside that header i have one which is called the content okay so you can see all my text and buttons are on this content and uh, if you go to this navigation and logo it is the top section then this video background it is uh, in another group okay also you can move this uh, layer into the video background layer okay like that so it is a one block over here video area okay so this is how you are going to align and uh, organize your whole content inside different folders and different sections okay then we have the next section which is this process on milestones of every project we take okay section one now if you click on any icon you can see over here i have uh, this folder called steps so all the four steps are inside this and they have their separate folders with their icons like you can see step one dash icon okay so most of the time developers use naming conventions with dashes okay or underscores so try to use them use lower case letters okay step one dash icon or step two dash icon step one dash icon or step two dash icon step three dash icon you can see over here okay same is going to be for the buttons okay so if i click on this button you can see i have named this whole button btn dash main okay so this is basically btn is for button and this is main okay uh, so don't worry about this layer but most of the time your folder should be named properly okay so your group basically so this is a group okay now let's move on to few more things okay now you can see at, at the footer we have this footer at the end and uh, you can hide them or show them as you want okay one more thing sometimes uh, maybe on purpose i can you know i can right click over here and uh, give some color to this like this is orange or maybe i want to give uh, red color to this header or maybe i want to give the red color to this uh, grid and uh, no color to all of them okay so this red color means that this is grid and it is locked and uh, the developer or any other designer who is going to work on it they can instantly know that this layer is basically locked okay also if you want uh, the background like this you can use something like this or you can add a new layer like this okay solid color 
and use it for background or name it bg so it is easy to change color anytime okay so i can make it gray or any color like it so this is how you are going to arrange your whole document header section one section two section three section four and footer okay to create all these folders i have a action saved over here so i'm going to show that uh, in uh, the next video when we are going to design start designing these right now the main purpose of this lecture is that how you are going to organize your layers so that the developers or other designers or other team members they can easily understand what you have designed or now let's move on to the next lesson if you want to learn a pro level process of responsive web design using design frameworks like atomic design and eight point grid system and if you want to learn about wireframing how to gather project information ideation techniques mood boards style guides and prototyping all these advanced web design topics then you should take this course discount coupon link for this course is in the description of this video get this course now for only dollar 10 okay and don't miss this opportunity